Okay, dear student, let's see what is there in this question. A flywheel of moment of inertia, this, rotates anti-clockwise with an initial angular velocity of 15. The torque is applied to the wheel. Somebody is trying to stop it or somebody is trying to move it in the other way. And its angular velocity changes to 25 clockwise. So even the direction is changed and it is now moving in the other direction. What is the angular impulse? So again, we have to learn about angular impulse. I told you angular impulse is one of a very important concept for IB, IB, IB physics. They are really interested in this. So the impulse is equal to change in the angular momentum or it is equal to the torque into delta t. This is the impulse. So the time is not given, the torque is not given. They're not even asking you about anything about torque. So we are not going to use this. We are interested in the change in angular momentum. So what is the final angular momentum? Uh, this will be I omega. So it is highly tempting, you know, like to use L is equal to MVR, but this is absolutely wrong. This is only for a bob, which is rotating in a circular fashion, just like an electron, which is rotating around nucleus. So that formula is not applicable here. I'm very clear about it. Now, angular momentum is I omega, which is a universal formula. So moment of inertia is 0 0.5 and omega is 15. This is anti-clockwise, this is clockwise. One direction out of these two has to be taken positive. You can choose any direction to be positive and any direction to be negative. Usually, teachers are taking this as negative and this as positive. Okay, the anti-clockwise direction is taken positive. It depends upon you, by the way, it doesn't matter anything. So final will be plus 0 0.5 and this is 15 okay and what is the sorry this is the initial and what is the final finally it is negative of 25 radian and the moment of inertia will be 0 0.5 so this is it and now we are interested in changing it so delta l will be negative of 0 0.5 into 25 minus 0 0.5 into 15 so I can just take 0 0.5 common, it will be 25 plus 15. So it will be 30, 40 and half of 40 is 20. So the angular momentum, change in angular momentum is coming out to be 20, which is kg meter square per second as the units. So negative 20 and the same will be the angular impulse. So our answer will be 20, let us see if we are getting the correct answer or not. And yes, the answer 20 is the C option. Let's see what is the mark scheme saying. And of course, the answer is correct. This is how we do this question. Please watch the video again if you want to be even more comfortable with the concept of angular impulse. I told you this is very important. Please join the YouTube channel if you want to learn the theory of what angular impulse is. They are all uploaded on the YouTube channel. All the best.